so it's Samantha, the Urban Homesteader, and I am at the Farm Where You Live event in Bowman, South Carolina, at the beautiful Barefoot Acres property. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a goat behind me. This place is spectacular. They've got zip lines and rope courses and hiking trails and animals. And today is workshops galore. Right now, Joel Salatin is speaking on Homestead Tsunami. And I've got excerpts of that that I'll, I'll share with this. Um, it's been a good day. This morning I took a workshop on butchering and processing chickens and rabbits. I've done plenty of chickens before. I've even processed a rabbit. But the way that this lady did it, uh, Vita Family Farm, yeah, Vita Family Farm did it, um, was a little bit different than the way I do it. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't turn my stomach a little bit. But again, it's one of those things you gotta learn to disconnect and do what's best, and it works. Um, I'll be teaching a class at three today on preserving your herbs. I probably won't have that on film because I will be teaching. But I do plan to do a YouTube video in the near future sharing that information with you. So if you didn't make it out here to the Farm Where You Live event, you can still watch that. Hoping to take a couple other workshops. There's one coming up by Daniel Height at Height, the Height Life. I think that's right. I'll have to find one. I love Danielle. She's so funny. I was playing with her son this morning. She is a trip. But she's going to be doing a workshop on feeding your meat rabbits for free. And I'm definitely into that because right now, with as expensive as everything is, I really want to learn how to do that and save some money, but also feed my family. Anyway. I'm going to get back to it and mill around. Maybe I'll get some interviews in with some other homesteaders that are out here and I'll try to catch some workshops and share with you. Tell tell who you are. My name is Rochelle Rose and I'm with Legacy Home and Garden. I'm here at the farm where you live. Harvest celebration. Having a great time. Oh, we're having a ball. I know it is fun. Super fun. So what are you talking about today? I'm talking about the medicinal saps that I make from flowers that grow in my garden. And I'm sharing with people how they can use it and how it can benefit or help them. And then not only that, I'm gonna show them and give them the recipe so that they can make it for themselves. I'm going to give you a personal phone call yes. or email or something. So awesome. you're special. So she's got these awesome salads and she's been selling the mess out of them today. She just had the sweetest lady come tell her how awesome they were for her. So it's so exciting. It made me cry actually. You have a YouTube channel, right? I do. She has a YouTube channel too. Check out Legacy Home Legacy and Garden. And Garden. On YouTube. On YouTube. This is Facebook. Like said, this is my friend Rochelle and I love her. Oh, Samantha, you're great. Fabulous. Thank you. I replace that with grease. Then a week later, you cut it back by another force, and now you're feeding half of what you started with a pellet, and you replace that with grease. When you cut your pellets by half, your rabbit should be eating about this much grease a day. So you get half your pellets and half your grease. And then, this is the fun part, you can either continue to cut back by a fourth, and so then you're feeding one fourth pellet and one and a half bundles of weeds, or you can do like I do and go to every other day pellets. So one day they'll get pellets at their full pellet amount, and one day they'll get full rabbit forage. And I do that for about a week. And that teaches rabbits that they don't have to rely on pellets to eat. They can eat that forage and they'll be okay. And so that's what I do, and I do that for a week, and then my rabbits are on a full forage diet. If you're buying rabbits for the first time and you don't have them on pellets, or you don't want to go out and buy a big bag of pellets, start with hay. Put them on a hay-only diet for two weeks, make sure it's a good quality introducing greens as a treat and then you build up and do a little bit more like a small handful for a snack and then a week later start 
Everybody, I'm Joel, and I've really enjoyed uh, spending a couple days with Samantha. She's been my, uh, my my guide and hostess here at the Farm Where You Live Fair in uh, just outside of Greenville, uh, South Carolina, for two days, and um, it's been it's been really great to get to know her and enjoy uh, her, her spirit, her attitude, her can-do spirit. Let's go get it done. Oh yeah. So J Joel is a hoot. He, uh, he goes by the world's most famous farmer, and for a world famous farmer, he is hysterical and down to earth, and it's been a lot of fun. He really likes Mexican food, and he's a cat person, so we yeah. have a lot in common. I love the cats. Yeah. Cats, cats are happy. Cats more than dogs. Yeah, yeah. cats all the way. Yeah, yeah. cats, you know, um, cats clean themselves. They do. Yep. They don't have bad breath. Well, yeah, generally, my unless they just eat in the mouth. My cat has terrible breath. Oh, okay. Um, anyway. uh, well, well, cats, uh, I think cats are easier to leave, like go away and leave. Yeah. 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 But it's really nice to meet you this week. Had a ball. Yeah. We will. Yeah.